Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Look what we got today. This is a 67 maybe, Norton Atlas. I've always wanted to ride an Atlas. This one has a Magneto. I don't know if I can start it or not. Let's try. Try again. Oh. All right, we got it. Had to bump start it. What a machine, huh? <laughs> it was too much compression for me to kick. It was just too much for me to kick. Hey, no mirrors. <laughs> so it's an Atlas 750. I think he said it was a 65 or 67, something like that. We're gonna kind of take it easy on it. I gotta get used to it. I've always wanted to ride one of these. I've driven the Norton Commandos, and this is the predecessor before those. And uh, these are known to be a lot more vibrate vibrate vibey, vibey. What's the word? What's the right word there? Let's see if we can get the back tire to spin. <laughs> That'd be nice to it. Okay. Anyway, uh, quite an interesting bike. I've, uh, like I said, I've always wanted to ride one, and today's the day. They always seem to be black. I don't know if they came in other colors or not. This one's a particularly good looking one. Randy Baxter just took it for a ride. He said it uh, ran really well. Lots of torque. Kind of a stiff clutch. I gotta remember the gear shifting is the opposite direction. It's one up, three down, four speed. I don't think anybody's behind us here. We're gonna live on the edge today and uh, see if we can do a spin test. <laughs> I don't have mirrors and it's a strange bike and it's a vintage bike, the boot. So we're living on the edge here. I don't know if this is gonna be the auction in the auction. I think the auction is the 24th of August. Go check their website, BaxterCycle.com to be sure. I gotta remember that shifting is the opposite direction. What a motorcycle, huh? It's a very good looking bike. Transmission and engine are separate. It's a Magneto bike, I think I said that already. I don't know how many carburetors, if it's a single or a dual, we'll check that out when we get stopped. It's got, it looks like it has brand new wheels, you know, chrome wheels and uh, things like that. I'm a little leery of, uh, I don't have mirrors, so I'm a little leery of that. How many times are we gonna say that, right? Let's see how she does here. Second gear. <laughs> oh, she runs good when you get her going. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see if we can do a spin test here. That is a neutral. We will try again. <laughs> Looking for traffic. Next time you get, next time you're in mighty, next time you're in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, here's up over here to the derailed grill. Try their Wahoo burger. This bike's taking a little more concentration than I'm used to. What a grin! Once you start opening it up, it really, it really works well for me. I think that's, that might be fourth gear. Let's head out down the road a little ways, see what we got. It's a very interesting, I keep saying that, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's unusual and different than uh, a lot of the other bikes I've ridden, how's that? And I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying that in a negative way, I'm saying that in an interesting, okay, there's fourth gear. Now these are supposed to be real good runners. I'm amazed at how smooth it is. The uh, I've always heard that these vibrated like mad, and maybe they do. For wrapping, it says 6,500. I can't believe that's right. That certainly can't be right, can it? You got to be forceful with the shifter. 
There's first gear. Plenty of torque. The clutch is a very hard, tight thing. At, at the end, you know, when you're squeezing it. It does have feel, pretty okay feel, but it is a hard clutch. And I gotta remember to shift in opposite. Wow, what a machine. You know, this thing's picking up pretty good if that speedometer's accurate. Very interesting. You know, both the tack and the speedometer are reading high numbers, so that must be pretty accurate, I would suppose. The ride itself, incredibly smooth. I mean, look at that. I'm very impressed. I've heard, like I said, I've heard that they're uh, rattly. I've also heard that they're very, uh, they're like monstrous machines to ride, but this is a very friendly, uh, I don't friendly is not the right word. It's a very, it, it does its job. Okay, that should be third. I've always thought these are good looking motorcycles and the uh, ability to ride one is uh, truly a treat. Okay, let's uh, see if we can turn here. Boy, this thing is neat. Neat as heck. Had some good luck here recently riding some very interesting motorcycles here at Baxter's. They've got a uh, John Player Norton in the shop that they're trying to get uh, everything just right on. And we're gonna try to get that out for a ride. I don't know if we'll get to that today or not. You know, this thing handles well. It does the corners well. It did the uh, roadway very well. If I had some time to figure out how the shifting and stuff like that uh, went, I think I could do that very well. Okay, there's neutral. Let's get ourselves over here to the looking glass and we'll take a look at the bike. See what we can learn here in the window. There it is. Chrome fenders, chrome stripe on the tank. Check that out. Boy, that's a nice detail. Polished cases, chrome pipes. Look at the black on there. Isn't that neat? Boy, that's a really good looking machine, isn't it? I'm going to get some hate for this, but I think this is every bit as pretty as any commando. I understand the Commando is far more modern and uh, probably better running, but this is a very good looking machine. Very impressive, very impressive. Loads of torque. Oh, I'm in second gear. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that, just spins right up. Wow, this thing, the RPMs just go right on up. Incredibly impressive bike. The more I ride this, the better it does, you know, the more I get tuned into how it works. Incredibly impressive. We didn't have much fuel in the tank, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna head back. I don't wanna head back. So we'll get the other camera out, and we'll take a look at it. If you're all in the market for a newer used uh, Triumph, Royal Enfield, classic British bike of any, any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minitropolis. What do they got going on in here? Hey, look at that. That's an infield. Let's spin around and get a look at that. Oh, that's that 1970 infield. We rode that one day. That's a very impressive machine in itself. The clutch works very well once, I, once you're used to it. It's very hard at the very end, end of its throw, when you get it squeezed in. All right, my friends, let's uh, get the other camera out and take a look at this hot rod. What a machine, what a machine. Wow. This little hot rod here, I just got off of that. 60, I can't remember, 66, 65, 67, Norton Atlas, 750, inline, twin, parallel twin, air-cooled, of course, check that out. Safety wired here. That's interesting. Two cylinder magneto. This, there's a mag right there. Uh, dual Amal carburetors. Monoblocks they look like. It's a dry sump engine. Oil tank right there. Big old fuel tank. Look at that big chrome on the side. I'm guessing that's the tack drive right there. Oh no, no, that's a vent tube. Okay, we'll find the tack drive by gully. Look at that chrome case cover. Isn't that beautiful? Notice there are no fasteners around the perimeter. It's all from the center. 
drain plug down there. Wow, absolutely amazing. Big old air filter. This is the air filter system right here. I'm not sure what that covers up. Big flathead screwdriver to get in there. Look at all that beautiful framework. Beautiful shocks on the back, covered, covered spring shocks. The paint is just gloss on this thing. Rear brake right there. There's the electronics of the day right there. Check out how this is blacked. Looks like it's powder coated. The adjuster for the rear brake, the rear brake itself right there. Chain adjusters right there. Love the drum brake, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely a beautiful thing. Chrome wheels. Look at that massive chrome fender. I don't know if those are grab bars or not. How would a passenger reach that? Speedo drive right there. Look at these mufflers. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely beautiful pipes. Oh, here's the tack drive right here. Right there. So speedo drive back there, tack drive right here. Look at the color of the pipes. As those cool, that will kind of soften up a little bit. Oil lines from the tank. Big old transmission. Transmission separate from the engine. Wow. Truly a beautiful thing. Look underneath there. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of art, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I'm getting a little excited, aren't I? A little emotional. I'm getting all emotional, man. Gear indicator right there. Uh, this was a treat to ride. I think if I had the time and the opportunity and was able to ride this for a day, an afternoon, get some time on it, I could really learn how to ride it. I started riding it. It was very different than anything I've rode ever before in this realm. And uh, there's a lot to learn about it. You know, I had to bump start it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't kick start it. It was just too hard. So we bump started it. Uh, the shifting was stiff. The clutch was very stiff at, at full compression. It just, uh, it was really an interesting thing. Handling, I was, uh, the handling was very good. I was a little leery of it at first because of all the other things I had to learn, you know, with the engine and per se. Uh, look at this drum brake on the front. That is one large brake. Those look like new rims to me. Look at the chrome on that. This, this all looks just top notch. Hey, road handlers, ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful, beautiful. Just a gorgeous machine. The Lucas amp meter here, Smith gauges here. There's a guy down the road, he can rebuild these Smith gauges. He can do the innards, he can do the faces, he can put new numbers in it, new new needles, new glass. He can recrimp this into, into place. He's just, I'll put his website right above here somewhere. I'm guessing that's high lows, probably the horn. Kill switch right there, that's how I killed the bike. Choke right there, throttle, very big old barrel grips. Nice soft barrel grips, I love those grips. It's got these stamped levers. Uh, I think I mentioned this in another one. You know, they must stamp these out, then uh, put, attach these uh, balls on the end before they chrome them. Very interesting way of doing things back in the day, you know. There's just a lot to see here. The old flat cap. Just a very beautiful thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the headlight. I, I really don't know. So high lows, maybe headlight on and off. Possibly. I'm going to guess that's the bright indicator. You know, what What a machine. What a machine. Truly amazing thing. I've ridden a lot of bikes here. And I, I say this with every bike, I suppose. But these things are such a privilege to ride. And uh, this one was not only a privilege, but there were some... There was a lot of learning that went on in the few minutes that I got to ride this thing. And it was certainly worth the effort. I just, I got to thank Baxter Cycle for allowing us the opportunity to ride these kind of motorcycles. If y'all are in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type like this, need parts, accessories, single jigs, doodads, Baxter's has got the largest British, vint Baxter's has got the largest vintage British bike part collection in North America. They've got it all. They don't have it. You're going to have trouble finding it. They've got buildings around this town full of those parts and in the next town too. But uh, I really appreciate them uh, letting us ride this. Anyway, it, they, let those guys help you out. Get yourselves over here. They can help you out or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell them Fuzzy Biker sends you. That's me. And uh, send those guys a note. Tell them you want Fuzzy to ride more of these old bikes because I'm ready to do that. It's my favorite part of the whole video thing is these old bikes. I just love riding them. And I really appreciate your support, you guys. Thank you. Life is good. Get out and ride. Wahoo. Yippee-yay-yay. Yippee-yay-yo. Down the road we go. Beautiful, beautiful machine.